Hi, today I will be talking about Queen Helen's Cocoa Butter Hand Plus Body Lotion Soothens and Softens for extremely dry skin, intense moisture, and it's this is the one with the new look. And this bottle is the 32 ounce bottle. So starting off about this cocoa butter, this is not a video like saying how much I love it because this product is not the best product. But I will talk about that a little bit later. But starting off, I feel like everybody, every time I go into somebody's household, this product is there. And it's just something that like doesn't really work well, but everybody tends to have it. So I just feel like it's a last resort lotion. This lotion, honestly, like I grew up and we had it, but I, I don't think I cared a lot about my skin being moisturized until I got older. So that's why I feel like I tend to, tend to use it a lot when I was younger. But this lotion is not good lotion at all. When I put it on, it makes my skin drier than what it was before. And I'm not even trying to over exaggerate, but this lotion is like not the best lotion. And there's like a few indicators of why this wouldn't be good lotion aside from you actually using it. But it's not expensive and I'm not saying that for something to be good it has to be expensive. But what I am saying is for it to be for it to come in like such a big bottle and it's so cheap, you, you might want to raise questions around that one. And then also the consistency and the texture of the lotion is just like not good. The lotion is very watery. It tends to like, when you use it, it tends to like be equivalent to like taking a shower and then it just dries in your skin. Like it's just not good lotion. I don't recommend getting this product at all. And I'm like not even like picky when it comes to lotion as long as it like moisturizes my skin. But this does the opposite. Like this lotion is like not good at all also about this lotion too is this cocoa butter hand plus body lotion i think this lotion would be good honestly for if you're going to a massage like going to get a massage and they use it because like when you're going to get a massage the point, purpose of a massage is not to moisturize your skin but i feel like they just use different type of lotions and oils to like increased like the intensity of the massage and I just feel like that will be this will be something good to use there but just not after you get out the shower and another thing guys that's another thing so when you get out the shower and like you know how you moisturize your skin and everything this lotion is the worst lotion to use right after you get out the shower it does not do anything for you like it literally just looks like like you'll see like results probably within like 20 minutes later and then like after after the 20 minutes it's like the moisturizer is gone and it, it doesn't even moisturize your skin that well within the first 20 minutes so after the first after that 20 minutes it's just like it's over with like there's like no helping it like it's just and I don't even mean to be a Debbie Downer about this product but I've been using this for like almost 21 years I'm pretty sure my mom put this on me when I was a baby and like I'm pretty sure it still didn't moisturize me then either and it hasn't moisturized me now and I don't know if they just don't change the formula or they're just not planning on changing the product but something needs to change somebody needs to tell Queen Helen that it's not working out anymore because it's just it's just I don't know I just feel like over time if they were getting the same feedback about this product they should have changed something but they haven't but I want to show you guys what it actually looks like and look at mine is like so crusty because nobody uses it it's this is like a last resort lotion so let's see. oh okay so this is the cocoa butter It's very it has a very watery feel very watery it kind of looks oily now but I it's not it's almost like they added water and a little bit of somebody else's product of lotion together and said let's make a profit off of it 
and added like a little cocoa butter smell to it because and I'm not even saying that overall if you don't have anything else to use because it's been around so long that I just feel like people resort to it in a way but at the same time too it's just like like we got to do better and this was just this is just not better like it's it's a product that I just like I literally you only have it in your house because you grew up with it and yeah but there is one positive thing about this product it comes with a lot in it so if you're not somebody who needs a lot of moisture in your skin and and I'm the opposite I need as much as moisturizing I can get but if you're not somebody who needs that much moisture in your skin then you don't have to worry about it like you should be fine I'm um, using this the one thing I can say too to be careful with if you're gonna use it before you go outside be careful because I've had friends that use this and then they get really bad skin burns and sunburns and then their tan lines don't equivalent right so just be very careful if you do choose to use this but other than that this product is not one of my favorite products I wouldn't recommend this to anybody who's looking for moisture in their skin I don't recommend putting this on your face at all either it breaks me out so much um, when I do have to resort to it so don't don't use it on your face at all if you're gonna use something use like a different type of lotion or a different type of moisturizer don't use this at all and yeah I just feel like if you're looking for something that's good this is not the thing but this is just the Queen Helen's cocoa butter hand plus body lotion and like I said this one is the 32 ounce one and it's for extremely dry skin but it doesn't help that much so yeah.